we're going to be taking a look at the new sequence editor within Silhouette and how we can start to trim our clips up prior to using them. So if we come down to the bottom of the sources window, we have new icons down here. We have our import media icon, create a new session and create a new sequence. And if I create a new sequence here, it will make up a timeline with any of the media that I have selected. And I can come in and I can trim this up by clicking and dragging on the out point or clicking and dragging on the in point here. And we're seeing what's happening with the sequence in the viewer here. Now, of course, I've only got one clip in at the moment. If I add in another clip at the start, that will ripple the rest of the timeline up for me, pushing all of the other clips along it. So we can use this new sequence editor to do some quick editing to create a sequence to go into a larger session. So in this case, I'm going to do a little screen replace. So I've got my media selected here, five pieces of media here. I'm going to go new sequence, and that'll bring all of the clips over into my timeline. And I can trim these up as I need to. Now I'm just going to delete a couple of those clips and show you something else we can do. If I double click on any of my media, it brings it up into the viewer. And now I can trim this up before we even place it into a session or onto a sequence. So I can use my in and out points down on the bottom here or use I and O on the keyboard to set my in and out point. And after we've done that, I can come into my session. And if I drop that clip in, the one with the jellyfish, we can now see my in point starts at 54 and my out point is at frame 113. Now I can use this sequence as I would do any other media, which means I can make a new session out of it, or I can use it in an open session just by dragging and dropping it into my session up here. And if I plug that into the rest of the node, I can then start to time this up a little bit more. So I can just drag that so I now have a shorter clip here. And we see how that updates immediately in the sequence. And if I still need to shorten that up just a little bit more, that's not a problem. I can just go in and do that straight away. Now I can do other things in the sequence editor as well. If, for example, I wanted to swap this clip out, the jellyfish just isn't doing it for me. Uh, maybe we'll come in with the runners here and I'll find my 32 frames of the runners. So we'll start around about there. Frame 39. Taking that to 71. Sounds about right. Come back into my sequence. What I can do is I can take my runners clip and if I hold down the Alt or Option key, you'll see that I can now replace the media that was in the timeline at that point. If I come down to the bottom, I can also speed this up, play it in reverse. Trim this, I can even make this repeat a few times, bouncing back and forth. So we have a lot of options going for us. There we go, look at that, fun stuff. Uh, all within the sequence editor here. And all of those changes are gonna be applied immediately when we start using that sequence in a session itself. And that's a quick look of how we work with a sequence editor in Silhouette version seven. <laughs>